My name is Jennifer McKinney, and I'm telling my quilt story at the Smoky Mountain Quilters Quilt Show. Today is June 22nd, 2024. Back when I was in middle school, I wanted to take shop, but they wouldn't let me because I was a girl. I would have been really good at shop. So I had to take home ec, and one of the things we had to do was to sew a dress. I had no idea how to do anything. Every single step, I asked the teacher what to do. At the end, the dress fit perfectly, but it was sewn inside out. So I decided sewing wasn't for me. 50 years later, I read a book about quilting and quilters, and it sounded really fun. So I got my graph paper out and drafted my first quilt. It took me a year to do a queen size bedspread, and I hand quilted it, and I was, I really, uh, wanted to continue. That was on my 58th birthday in 2010. Um, I usually like to make my own quilts, whatever's in my head, but I saw this sheet pattern and just fell in love. It's a Cory Yoder pattern from Coriander Quilts, and so I decided to make a bunch of them. I ended up making 14 of the, uh, the sheep, and turns out only one of them was sewn correctly. I had a real hard time sewing them. Um, at the end, they were all different sizes and to put them together, I had to take some off, add some fabric, but I think I did a really good job in um, putting it together, making it all fit. Um, can you tell which one is the uh, one that's not like the others? This is the only correct one. All the other stars are at the bottom. I had no problem drafting the barn. I did that on graph paper and, and did that without a problem. And I've discovered it's not that I can't sew, it's I can't follow directions.